Let's start with Leo. Um, the previous president has Mars and Leo rising. Good example. So pride, dominance, power, display, show, explosive, very explosive, but it's often just a show. You know, it can be. Look at me. I got muscles. Okay. Um, Mars and Virgo will strike out because it's anxious. It's had insomnia. It's annoyed. You didn't put the kitchen towels back in the right place. Boundary problems. Or you overstepped your boundary. You did something you weren't supposed to do. Um, I have not seen, I've seen a, a lot of very critical temper. People get mad over petty things with Mars and Virgo. Um, Mars and Libra will get very angry over justice, honesty. Someone lied to them. Fairness issues. Uh, you ate my cake in the fridge. You know, uh, infidelity for sure. Rivals. Uh, jealousy. Um, Mars and Scorpio can be very dangerous. Mars and Scorpio may not show the temper and wait quietly 10 years for that perfect moment to poison the drink. They love revenge and avenging. It's often sex related. Old lovers, uh, what they did to me. Uh, stewing, brewing, strategy. These are the great strategizers. You know, the best generals, uh, Scorpio and Libra combinations. Be, they'll, they'll, they'll get very angry over betrayals. Scorpio is very happy once, once it's equalized, you know, or someone apologizes, you know, they're, they're not unreasonable as Mars and Cancer can be. Okay, uh, you know, uh, Mars in Sag, they just needed more exercise. Panicking, escaping the outlaw. Often they've been playing around, doing something they shouldn't, and they'll, they'll have a temper tantrum as a disguise, you know, the big smoke screen, and then escape out the back door. Um, Capricorn. This is the person who gets very angry because you didn't respect them, or they're applying discipline, control, or their authority. It's the father, the father thing. Mars and Cap. Mars and Aquarius. These are the radical re rebels. They don't. They don't want anybody telling them what to do. Don't you tell me what to do? And um, you know, they they want to go do whatever they want as they get have a have a temper tantrum. So they're resisting authority. Uh, the or they want to do something to be shocking. That's another thing. Um, Mars and Pisces. This one, I, the people I know with Mars and Pisces do the strain. The men do the strangest things when they're mad. They're like the ones. They're like the ones who creep up and cut the telegraph wire. <laughs> or you know, they're usually into some subversive, doing something subversive against the government or something. The ones I've known, secretive. They suffer a lot of anguish. It turns inward. You get a lot of suicides with Mars and Cancer and Pisces. By the way, the anger gets turned inward in the water signs, often. Uh, under some strain, they took a drug, and all of a sudden they're not themselves. They've had a spiritual influence, or they'll they'll use uh, temper as a disguise for something. Uh, so there's another one. They're very odd, often angry. If they get angry or cruel, you often can't even figure out why, because uh, they've been drinking. Um, so uh, Mars in Aries is just pure impulse. They get too much adrenaline. They can suddenly see red. If you have Mars in Aries, you start getting angry. Go out and take a walk so you won't do something because uh, you can suddenly see red. It goes right to the head. Uh, impulse, hot-headed, all the fire signs. Aries is the worst. If they're obstructed, like these are the road rage, you know, if they're obstructed, you know, that idiot, you know, I've been wanting to put a, a license. I've been wanting to put one of those little, what are they called in the back of your car? A little decal that says, um, uh, please slow down. I am an idiot. <laughs> because there are people are always going, that idiot, that idiot. And so they always think the car in front of them is an idiot. So I thought that'd be a great little thing on the car. But anyway, so the, the, um, Make them laugh. Aries can laugh a lot, so that's a good one. Um, good technique to get them in a sense of humor. Taurus, the pressure's just building for a sudden explosion. It's one of those earthy Marses that can be very, very dangerous. If they get too hungry, if their desire is blocked, uh, Taurus will hold it a long time, and then all of a sudden, you know, there's a dangerous anger, like a bull. A Gemini. 
this is I've noticed Gemini's enjoy teasing people or sometimes being cruel with the with what the, with the hot tongue or a hot pen. They also enjoy playing with weapons and knives and they like they like weaponry. It's a game. So, so, but they'll usually fire off at the tongue. But if a Mars and Gemini has a knife collection, you do have to be careful. Uh, remember OJ, he had Mars and Gemini. Now, um, Cancer. Um, in fact, every Mars and Gemini I know can have, when the mood strikes, a very, very sharp tongue or talk too fast. But they will defend with the tongue. Um Mar- uh, Mars and uh, Cancer, they will fight uh, like uh, a wolverine to protect their family. Self-defense, defense of their family, defense of their ethnic group, defense of their territory or their home, defense of their nation. Uh, often, though, they can become very insulted and, and get very angry and, and pout or, you know, whatever it is. Uh, they can feel vulnerable. I noticed Mars in Cancer was very prominent in people who were accused of serious spousal abuse, combined with a weak sun or weak ego. They'd have a dominant Mars in Cancer with a weak ego. It means they were picking on someone smaller than themselves because of an inferiority complex, which Cancer can get. Cancer hates to be intruded upon either, like someone invades their room or their drawer or looks in their diary, this can create an anger. Um, so you get these different reasons and different styles. And so I'd say Cancer and Virgo are our most territorial. Cancer and Scorpio are our most uh, preoccupied with who did what to them back when. And, uh, you know, you have, you have different styles. The most prone to want to dominate others would be uh, uh, Capricorn, Leo, um, you know, so you get, you get, you get just these very, everybody's got a problem. It's an equal opportunity Mars plate. So all signs can have temper. So let's go to our next slide, please. Really quick question. Uh, there is a question about, uh, Someone was, we were, I was hitting up people in the chat. How true is this for you? And we're getting a lot of true, true. Uh, so Mars in Virgo, the insomnia, is that someone who reacts because they haven't gotten enough sleep or, or turned to an insomniac as a result? No, they usually don't get enough sleep and they're anxious or having panic. And so they get very irritable. It's an irritable temper. And, you know, Gemini and Sag can suffer from lack of sleep as well, and um, and but if you, but you also want to watch. There's different things like if a, if a Cancer Mars and Cancer person or Mars in Taurus person get hungry, they're much more likely to get angry because they really want their food. Um, so you get these different things, and you know some signs are more prone to OCD, and. Uh, Leo likes to be alpha if Mars is in that. Mars and Leo. We're talking Mars, not, you know, other things like sun or moon. And uh, so these, these styles can go through the moon and the sun too, but we're, we're really focusing on Mars, you know, because we're looking at, at Mars today. So uh, we're at 317. And um, do we have any other slides here? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. So rage precursors. When you see this can happen by transit. Or by, um, conju- if it's chronic in the natal chart, if you have one of these close conjunctions, you're likely, you may, ha- these can produce rage. For looking at, I just wanted a brief talk about transits, because I promised a little of that. If you are having Mars cross one of these in your charts, or your ascendant, you'll feel a little more adrenaline, a little bit higher. If you have a really strong Mars, you got to watch it. However, if it's reversed, if you have Saturn coming and sitting on your Mars for a year, especially within when a few degrees or Uranus or Pluto's even longer going to sit on it, this will influence your adrenal glands, your testosterone. Women have it too. Your androgens, women have those too. Um, your iron for a very long time. Or if the, you know, like North Node coming over Mars, 
This is a, a temporary, but it'll last. You'll have eclipses near your Mars. If you're born with a Mars on the North Node, very prone to very intense temper because Mars is coming in through the temper. But Mars on the South Node can do it too, past life habit. I knew one guy ended up in prison because he uh, did some violent acts when he got mad and he had Mars exactly rising on the ascendant on the South Node in Scorpio. So Mars on the nodes, Mars on the North Node will produce surges of incredible flammable temper. 